What's going on guys? Welcome to Rob's RC Corner. Uh, today I went to Hobbytown USA here in Nebraska where I live. And I picked up this for my daughter. It's the Ravel Mozilla Mod MT. It's just a 118 scale brushed uh, monster truck. 2.4 gigahertz, ready to run out of the box. Uh, pretty standard looking remote, only takes three double A's. Um, it comes with the you know the basic boring stuff, a uh, instruction manual, breakdown of everything you got. Hi. And it's my daughter. We filmed a video together earlier showing my RC car. Yep. And there's the truck. And we are cooking. So. Pretty uh, self-explanatory. Uh, this are stickers. Bye. That's the only thing I'm kind of disappointed with. The stickers. It's not. Uh, there's not oil-filled shocks in it. It is just uh, sprung dampers. It's brushed. It does come with a 7.4 light poly, lipo. Not sure if it's lithium polymer or lithium ion. The battery, or the, the body's not too bad. I don't expect it to be too terribly bad, but it is a very light truck. It seems like a basic Lexan. And there's the truck itself. So it is a lithium ion. And I think it's a 390 size brushed motor, uh, four wheel drive, and it takes a uh, little tiny axle or hex screws. It says out of the box it'll do 20. We shall see. Comes with mini Tamiya Molex plugs. Outside. Um, and that's about it with this one. Subscribe and like to this channel. Please subscribe and like if you have any comments. Like I said, it's got the mini Molex Tamiya connectors. Uh, looks like dog bones on all four corners. Sorry about that. I moved the camera. Dog bones on all four corners. Um, ain't much else to say about this. Looks like a micro servo. Seems fairly weak. But it, and then again, this is only a $79 RC. Uh, I don't think there's any metal gearing in this. I think it's all plastic diffs. Looks to be like a just a small. I don't think it's a slipper clutch, but it's got a, or a metal drive shaft in the center. Um, we shall see what this little guy ends up turning out to be. Like I said, it's brushed. I don't have a whole lot of expectations for it. That is the Ravel Mozilla MT, uh, $79, 118th scale, four-wheel drive brush monster truck. 2.4 gigahertz, 20 miles an hour, big time fun and mini monster. You can see that on the box there. I've never had anything from this company. I've always had the Traxxas, HPI, Kyosho, uh, Tamiya, Losi, H, uh, Hubbo. Um, I've even had some Ofna. Pretty nice looking little box. Comes on either the white or the black with yellow. Comes with a USB charger, three double A's, which is nice about the controller. Um, hope you guys like this. Subscribe. Any comments, questions, it, uh, feel free to ask. Uh, again, this is Rob's RC Corner. I will post up the first running video with the 7.42S LiPo. Uh, I don't think there's much else to say. The box is pretty neat. The packaging is nice. Like I said, it does come with a USB type uh, charger you hook up to your computer little tiny plug there it does come with three double A's which is nice to see from a company that's not very popular so once I get the running videos up we'll uh, go from there and I've heard people say that you can put some team associated shocks on this thing because uh, from what I can tell, there isn't a whole lot of upgrades available for this thing, which I was kind of disappointed to see. But 
seeing that the truck's only $79, I mean, I don't know what else you're expecting. Uh, I didn't see any upgrades available for it. It's really under dampened. There's actually no oil in these. It's really springy. But um, $79, you can't really complain. Adjustable body posts. Front and rear bumpers. Seems really, really rigid to me. Tires are really hard. I don't have high expectations for these. Plastic out drives here on the on the cups or whatever you call them. Like I said, it is dog bones all the way around. Composite plastic chassis. Boo, it's Phillips hardware. I don't like to see that. Like I said, I don't have high expectations for this, but it is only $79. Uh, lithium polymer, 2.4 gigahertz. I am gonna probably potentially change this over to a brushless setup with, I got a little easy run, 18 scale, 7800 kV, runs two to three S. Like I said, the body shell's actually not too bad. Um, all things considered, I've definitely had better RTRs. I just couldn't pass this up, guys. I mean, $79. You can't find anything like that ready to run 2.4 gigahertz hardly at all anymore. But like I said, this is from a company I've never dealt with. It's almost like the Dromeda little 18 scale monster truck. So, um, it's regular size 18 scale in my opinion. I can compare it to some of my other trucks. Let me grab this out of the way. Here's the Revell Modzilla, and here's my 118 scale Losi Mini LST2. So there is a bit of size difference. Wheelbase looks pretty much the same, but uh, the Losi is obviously a lot bigger. It's a much bigger of a truck as far as the height. Wheelbase is actually a lot smaller on this Let's see and it appears to be much narrower than my mini LST2 in all things considered this is the system that I'm gonna be running in there you can see there it's an easy run 25 amp ESC with a 12 turn 7800 kV motor this actually is in the work of progress it uh, I had the mini LST2 steering servos fail on me so I put some high-tech uh, servos in there I'm trying to figure out the steering con configuration since they don't make the Exotech single servo conversion anymore and you guys got any comments questions or ideas on that please let me know like I said that's the uh, Ravel Mozilla MT If this is anything someone's interested about you got any questions you can definitely Post them on here like subscribe if you want to see the running videos I'm gonna run it on the stock live poly or lithium-ion battery And then I'll probably upgrade it to brushless I don't have a whole lot of expectations for this. I'm also going to pick up a 114 scale Low C Mini Rally brushless tomorrow. So, there's the manual. I didn't see any parts up, parts of uh, upgrades for this, so I don't know how long this is gonna last or what I'm gonna be able to do with it. So, that, like I said, is the 118 scale Revell Mozilla MT. Got this at Hobby Town for $79. Picked it up a while back. There's the box. Comments below. I'll put a link in the description for any information on this thing. If you guys like, please let me know. Uh, like I said, I'll have some running videos up shortly. Thanks.